Hi, this is Ladige coming to you with another DIY project. Today I will be trying to make some napkin rings. I will be trying to assimilate um, someone's napkin rings that were I saw on YouTube. I apologize to the person that um, whose napkin ring this is. I'm going to show you all my inspiration. I made the mistake when I took the picture. I cut out her um, name and that is the napkin ring that I'm going to try and recreate, but not in those colors. And I, once again, I apologize to you. I love your napkin ring. The products that I'm going to be using is a glue gun, silver glitter, iridescent glitter, a container, some blue paint, some blue gems, some clear gems, some glue, and shower curtain rings, a tissue holder, my scissors, and a brush. I just want to show you all again that napkin ring. Hers is in the color of look like silver, brown, and gold. And it's very pretty. I love that. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is cutting this toilet tissue holder down to this size, really small. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but and the next thing I'm going to do, because I don't think I'm going to need this whole long piece right here. So what I'm going to do is probably cut it to this length right here instead of the whole thing. I'm just going to gather them together and then cut them. Okay, now that I have gathered them all together, I'm going to cut them down to size. I don't need these pieces right here, so I'm going to get rid of those. The next thing I'm going to do is glue these back together. I just didn't want that long length that um, that it was in the beginning. I want it to be like so. Okay, I just want to show you all exactly what I'm doing. Like I said, I cut the piece of the um, toilet tissue holder. I'm just putting a little glue right here. And then sticking it back together. I'm trying to show you. And putting it right back together. Because I want to recreate that round shape of that napkin ring. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is begin to glue the pieces together. I'm just going to stick them in a corner and just keep gluing them. Instead of like that diamond, maybe similar to a circle, but if it doesn't go into a circle, I'll be all right. And here is what I'm doing. I'm just continuously sticking pieces in the corners and adding hot glue until I get it around like in a circle. And I'm trying to glue the edge where I cut and glued it back together. So it'll have some type of support from this glue. This is the shape that it's going in.
working so well. Okay, as you all can see, I kind of let my design spiral out of control, but that's okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mix some glue, uh, some paint, some glue. Even though it's this color blue, I don't want it this light. So I'm going to add uh, the glue, the paint, and the glitter all together in my container. And I've added some water because I want to kind of dilute the glue. Okay, so now I have mixed my blue paint, my iridescent glitter, and my silver glitter all together with a little water and some glue. So now I am just going to stir it. And I'm hoping for it to come out of a lighter shade than that color blue right there. And the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and start painting. Painting. I don't think I'm going to paint the whole thing just in some, some spots. And as you all can see, I'm kind of spot painting. I'm not going to paint the whole thing. Just letting the brush heat it wherever. And what I'm doing right now is just sprinkling a little glitter onto the paint and the glue so that I can get probably to stick while it's wet. That's going to be beautiful. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is start um, gluing some of my gems on. And y'all, I am just winging this because I have never done this before. I just saw that um, that napkin ring holder. And I thought it was the most beautiful thing. And I wanted to try and recreate. Mine's not going to look like hers. This will be in a Ladige original for sure. But my inspiration came from that. This still has to dry. That is the way it's looking. Uh, put some of this paint on it. And the, and the clear ones. I might wipe some. That's the way it's looking so far. And keep pulling your strings of glue off. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take and um, glue three of these shower rings together. Okay, now that I've glued these three together, I'm going to take and glue some of my jewels onto the napkin ring. Now that I have gotten my, I said jewels, my gems glued onto the uh, shower ring, I am going to take and I've already placed some glue on the back there and I'm just going to stick it on here. And this is the finished product. It is so beautiful. And of course, like I said, you're going to have to pull all your strings of glue off of it. This is it. The napkin ring holder. Okay, you all, I must say this turned out beautifully. It didn't turn out like hers, but I don't know what hers was made of. And I also want, want to uh, say that I saw someone make the, um, the napkin ring from the um, shower ring holders. 
I can't remember that. I watched so many videos that I'm not taking note of everybody's names, but I want to give credit to those who have, because like I said, I've seen a whole lot of people do things with toilet tissue holders. And I just want you all to see how beautiful that is. Wow. I did that. Yes. And like I said, this is a Lodige original. I mean, my ideas came from somewhere else, but I created this and I created it with the colors. Like I said, I do want to give those props to those who, um, who it, the, where the inspiration came from. And I want you all to see that. And also, um, I, once again, this was my inspiration. And like I said, I, it didn't come out, turn out the same, but like I said, that was my inspiration and hers, I think, like I said, it looked like it's black, gold, gray, and brown, but I say, must say that came out beautifully. Beautiful. And just to think that I created this from to a toilet tissue holder, the gems, the napkin ring, I mean the shower curtain ring. I think it turned out beautifully. I hope you all enjoyed that and I hope that you all will be inspired to make your own and in the process, just be creative. Like I said, it turned out beautifully. I am loving that. I will be making some more. Hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And love you all. And I'll keep you all in my prayers. Love you.